Hi everyone, today I'm looking at this 80 plus gold, deep cool, fully modular power supply. If you're interested in purchasing, we have prices and buying links just below. Okay, let's look at the box here. You have a cardboard box that says deep cool, and on it, there's a sleeve that says 80 plus gold modular power supply, and it has a picture on the front. Well, that's right, good and well, but why not make all of the art onto the box instead of having the sleeve? It's a little bit unnecessary. And on the back of the sleeve, the font is so tiny and so light that I will not even begin to strain my eyes to read it. It is, it's terrible. But we do have the full specs in the link below. Okay, as you can see here, we have a good bit of plastic. Why all the cables were not in one big bag together is beyond me. Why did the power supply need additional plastic as well as the foam? Okay, let's have a look at the paperwork. This is the user guide for the power supply tester. And then we have a manual that is multilingual. And as you can see here, it's pretty huge. Okay, inside we have a power supply tester. Now this will not tell you your voltage and anything like that. It just tells you if it's working. We have four black screws and some nice reusable cable ties, eco-friendly in a not so eco-friendly plastic bag. Okay, let's look at the cables. These cables are flat black. Now, if you don't know what that means, it, it's basic. They're flat and they're black, flat black. Okay, now in many power supplies, the 24 pin connector for the motherboard comes in a black shroud. This one is flat black. Love that. There is one 24 pin motherboard connector that's a 20 plus 4. You have two 8 pin CPUs that's 4 plus 4. You have three 6 plus 2s for your GPU. You have five Molex for your peripherals and 10 SATA for the drives, etc. And depending on what country you buy it in, there is a mains lead provided. Okay, let's look at the power supply itself. On the sides, as you can see, the brand Deep Cool, nice, simple, minimalistic. On the top, the specifications are on a sticker. I like this. I wish more power supply companies would do this instead of having the specifications on the side, because to me, that looks tacky. And moving right along, on the back, as you can see, where your mains go in, your rocker switch, and this is a hybrid mode switch. And what this does, when this is enabled, your fans will not come on straight away. It waits till it's under a little bit of a load for silent performance. And if we turn it around, so you can see where the cabling comes in, this is where your 24 pin motherboard connection would connect. And you've also got your CPU connections and so forth. And in conclusion, the power supply was attractive. All the cables are flat black. All the connections are black. The components are from Seasonic. It passed all of our tests with no issues. It used 25 watts less than the NCXT C series of bronze. And it gets top marks from me. So if you can get one at a good price, I say go for it. And with that being said, I highly recommend this product Thank you for watching this video, everyone. It's really appreciated you made it all the way to the end. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and even click that bell so you get notifications of new videos and live streams. It does help support the channel, and supporting the channel basically means that we can release more content for you and also better quality content going forward. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.